I'm on to you, Nick. I know your lawyer is fake. You want to know how I know he's fake? I had people look up his Discord while we were calling. They pulled his IP. He is fake. And you want to know reason number two why I know he's fake? Is because of this. This one simple thing that I asked several of my friends that do know the legal system well enough to know what's going on. And I even asked my former lawyer from my old case. I asked his wife last night. Will a lawyer tell you to attack somebody on live stream? Their answer, no. So if you think that your fake lawyer is going to win shit, you're out of your fucking mind, you stupid fuck. Oh, and to Gil, the lawyer... Why is it then when I asked you what your real name was and where your place of work was, you dodged the questions? Hmm. Why did you dodge? You got something to hide, motherfucker? You got something to hide? Is that why you're dodging? Oh, and just for the record, Gil. That case that went on when I was a kid between me and Billy cannot be reopened ever. And you want to know why? Because it's already been done and over with, you stupid fuck. The case can never be reopened. Ever. I mean, clearly, I mean, it's funny, you claim to be a lawyer, but yeah, you don't know the basics of what you're speaking about, dude. It's funny. A case can never be reopened if there was no violence involved. If it was a violent case, then yes, the case can be reopened. But with a case like what happened with me and Billy when we were both underage, that is a case that can never be reopened. So fuck you. So I'm telling you right now, Nick, and I'm telling you right now, Gil, you both better leave me the fuck alone. Because, Gil, if you really and truly back this man, if you truly support this motherfucker, then you yourself are just as guilty and just as bad. Because if you side with an internet bully, you're basically... You're basically supporting a pedophile supporter and an internet bully. See, this is why I'm glad I didn't become a lawyer. Because I can never, I, I cannot imagine myself lying for a living. I couldn't imagine myself lying for a living like you do. Which is why I don't trust lawyers. So, Gil... Take your fake lawyer shit the fuck somewhere else because I'm not buying it. And Marty, like I told you earlier, your little delusions of grandeur are going to get you in serious trouble one day.
I mean, you think that me walking away and not responding to you is you controlling the narrative, but it's actually not. You know what it's really called? It's called, I don't have time for your fucking ignorant bullshit, you stupid fucking retarded fat piece of shit. I don't have time for it. So, Nick, do yourself a favor and go fuck yourself. Oh, and Gil, you can continue to be the Marty Dick writer that you fucking are. You can continue to be this Marty Dick writing motherfucker that you are. Because I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to court. I'm going to be sitting right here on my butt doing my job. And Marty's going to be the one that has to go to court. Marty's going to be the one that has to go to jail. Because of the shit that he's doing. And uh, Gil, if you truly support someone like Marty who has attacked my family, has harassed me, has committed attempted murder on me multiple times, has vandalized my home many times, has tried to commit Grand Theft Auto on my family multiple times. And if that's what you want to support, then you're stupid as fuck. And I'm telling you right now, Gil, if you side with him, I will legally come after you. I will legally fuck your world up. Because anybody that sides with Marty is my enemy. Anybody that sides with Marty is a fucking pedophile supporter and is a fucking monster. And yes, I am calling you a pedophile supporter because Marty supports Tony who is an actual fucking pedophile. And by Marty associating with Tony, that makes him a pedophile supporter. And by you backing up Marty, that makes you a pedophile supporter as well by default. You're basically supporting a pedophile supporter. Now, how do you think that? Well, let's say, let's pretend for... Um, Let's pretend for a minute here that you are uh, this lawyer that you pretend to be. How do you think your associates would take that? How do you think your associates and your colleagues would respond knowing that you're supporting a pedophile supporter? Think about it. How would your colleagues react knowing that you're supporting a pedophile supporter? And it's pretty obvious if you ask me, motherfucker. So like I said, Gil, I don't buy a word that comes out your goddamn mouth. Because let me tell you right now, Gil, unless I hire the attorney myself or if somebody I know close to me hires them for me and I know that they're not fake, then I don't trust a single one of them. Unless I hire the person myself, I don't trust them. I don't trust very many people these days, and for good reason. So, Gil, 
Give me one good reason why I should fucking even trust a goddamn fucking word that comes out your mouth. After your little stunt the other night, tell me why I should fucking trust a single word you fucking say, motherfucker. Uh, like I said, unless I hire them, I don't trust them. Sorry. Unless a personal friend of mine hires them and tells me, hey, I got a lawyer that's going to help you out. Or unless me or my family hires them, I don't trust them. Just saying. Like I said, Gil, I don't trust you. I don't trust Marty. I don't trust a single one of you motherfuckers. And like I said, unless I hire them myself or a personal friend of mine hires them and says, hey, I got a lawyer that wants to help you out. Here's his name. He said they call him slash her. They said they call them. Unless a personal friend of mine hires the lawyer and tells me about it ahead of time. Or unless my family and me hires them ourselves. I don't trust them. Just saying. Uh, so I said Gil and Nick. Y'all can sit there and play fuck buddy all you want. I'm not buying a word you say. And Gil, just know that if you support Marty, if you genuinely support Marty, then you're stupid as fuck for that. If you're going to support a piece of shit like Marty, you're my enemy and I will be coming after you as well. And I'll be shutting you down as well. Just saying. So, good luck, Gil the lawyer. You're fake as fuck. It's easy to see. All you are, Gil, is a Marty dick rider. That's all you are, motherfucker. You're another Marty Dick rider. You're another fanboy riding his dick. That's all you're doing. And Gil, there's not a damn thing you can fucking get me on. Not a damn fucking thing because everything I've done, Marty's asked for. Me jerking off on his videos to get him shut down, that's just a little dirty tactic that I've had to employ to get him shut down in order for him to back off. Because see, what you don't realize, Gil, when it comes to Marty, I don't play by the fucking rules. I play dirty. He plays dirty, I play dirty. Plain and simple. He started this, and I'm finishing it. Because a motherfucker like him does not fucking deserve to be on this fucking platform. At all. He don't deserve it. 
He is a fucking human piece of garbage. He is an internet bully. He is a fucking terrorist cult leader. That you're stupidly following like a fucking moron. So Gil, my best advice to you is this. Back the fuck off. Because I've already got Marty on the ropes as is. I don't think you want to be on the ropes next, motherfucker. Because what you don't realize about me, Gil... The court system, the legal system, it don't mean shit to me. What does mean something to me is doing what's morally right. Fuck the justice system. It's a fucking joke. Just like you. Why do you think I don't trust police? Police are a fucking joke. Why do you think I don't trust judges or trust anybody? Because of motherfuckers like you that lie for a living. And fuck over innocent people like me. Fuck over innocent people that are merely defending themselves from a fucking egotistical, psychopathic narcissist like Marty. So, it a if you really are a lawyer like you claim to be, whose side are you going to be on? The motherfucker that's over here defending himself, which is me? The motherfucker that's over here every fucking day standing up for people and doing what's right, regardless of what society wants me to do, regardless of what the rest of YouTube wants me to do? Or are you going to believe some fat fucking slob Marty who sits behind a fucking screen all day and bullies people for a living. Think about it, Gil. You side with him, you're the enemy, and you're going to get brought down just as quick. Just saying. Now, Gil, I'm telling you right now, walk away. You need to walk the fuck away. Walk away from Marty and walk away from this whole situation before it gets bad for you. Because if you lump yourself with, in with him, I can promise you, Gil, it is going to end terribly for you. Because I'm the no fucking around motherfucker. Cops try to catch me, I'll fucking run. I'll move to another country. If it means... If it means me being able to be free, and if it means me proving my innocence, I'll do whatever I have to fucking do. I don't fucking care. If it means me maintaining my innocence, I will run if I have to. Because I have done nothing wrong, therefore I should not be arrested. So Gil, as far as I'm concerned, you can sit the fuck down, you can shut the fuck up, and you can stay the fuck out of my life. And stay away from Marty too, because he's bad news. I'm just saying. Because you want to know what he's going to do to you, Gil? He's going to do to you like he does to everybody else. He's going to use you till he's done with you. And then he's going to brag about how he used you to win against me.
He's done it before, Gil. I'm just saying, man. He's done it before. So what makes you think you're any different, motherfucker? Because you're not. You're just some jackass in a fucking suit and tie sitting behind a screen all day. While wow, real motherfuckers like me are out here on the front lines fighting to make YouTube a better fucking place. While well, your little bitch ass is hiding a fucking screen. Motherfuckers like me are out here on the front lines every fucking day. Trying to make YouTube a better platform. Trying to bring down the troll community. And trust me when I say, Gil, there's no judge. There's no officer. There's no military personnel alive on the face of this planet. That is going to stop me from fighting the good fight. There is not a single fucking military personnel. There is not a single officer. There is not a single fucking judge that is going to stop me from putting an end to the bullshit that Marty's been doing. People like him don't deserve a platform. People like him are scum. And deserve to be arrested. Because unlike you, Gil, I believe in the old ways. I don't believe in this new age fucking political bullshit. Fuck politics. Everybody's in bed with everybody. Everybody's sleeping together. All the politicians are in bed with each other. All y'all supposed lawyers are you know, sleeping with each other and in the same fucking pocket and this and that and the other. It's all bullshit politics. That's all it's really about is about fucking politics. Which is why I stay out of politics. That's why I don't vote. Because you got Sleepy Joe on one side, then you got another fucking weirdo on the other. So like I said, Gil, my advice to you, if you want to avoid getting rolled over by somebody that is literally 10 times smarter than you, which is me, I highly, highly suggest that you back off because if you don't it won't be that hard for me to find your address find where you live and call the police on you so my advice to you stay the fuck away from me get the fuck off of YouTube and stop Defending a sick, psychopathic narcissist like Marty. I mean, stop being a fucking Marty dick writer. Because friends don't let friends become music biz Martys. Fuck music biz Marty and fuck you, Gil. You fake ass fucking lawyer.